Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek. Subscribe, like, share. It's always appreciated. So before we get started, I wanted to say thank you to Simon over at HomeKitNews.com for the snazzy new logo that you see there at the bottom. Um, definitely go check it out. There's a link in the details below. Go check out his site. He's got a ton of great content there. So we've looked at the D-Link Omna 180 before. Check the card up above for a link to the original review. But one thing that came up was a question around motion zones. So we're going to take a look at how to set up the motion zones with this camera today. Let's check it out. So this is only able to be set up within the D-Link Omna app itself. You cannot do this through the native home kit. So if we kind of poke around inside a little bit here, you can kind of see, you know, you can get the live view, which is always nice. We could talk, we could listen to it as well. And we can also go down into the settings. And of course we can get live view from here. We can do, if we have multiple cameras, which I don't, you'd be able to view all of those here. You've got the SD playback that if you've got an SD card plugged into it, you're going to be able to scan back in time and see your captured video. And you've got the settings icon. So of course in here, you've got a bunch of settings, including the accessory name, the living room. Um, and of those settings is also going to be your motion detection. So you can either choose to turn this on or off. You have the service name, which is what's going to be exposed into HomeKit. And as you can see, you've got this kind of grid system all over your screen here where you can clear all and you can select only certain portions of the screen. So this is exactly what HomeKit is going to use and for the motion detection. It's going to basically ignore anything that you don't have selected here. So if we want, we're able to go in and clear everything. Um, although if I do this, it's not going to let me turn on motion detection and actually um, not select anything. Obviously, that's not going to work. There we see motion detection area error. You haven't selected anything. So we're going to have to select something in here. And maybe I just want just the direct living room um, you know, maybe just these little three squares here. I want to actually set off motion detection to turn on the lights. Maybe I want to capture my kitchen as well. So I can do that and also explicitly ignore some of the other motion settings. So I don't capture the people sitting on the couch. Um, down here at the bottom, you've got another setting that will be how long the system will wait before the motion detector resets itself, which is also going to be important. And so that's basically it. There's not much more to that. The only other thing that I do want to kind of show you here is the night vision camera, which is kind of cool. You can see that all the colors have been kind of blanked out, and I've suddenly got this extremely white house. Obviously, that's not the case. If you look over in the corner, you can see a, a, a bright light over there. And that's actually a Netatmo uh, camera on the other side of the house, so I can catch kind of the front door. So that's kind of one thing to be aware of is you got to watch how you place these things. If you, you have two night vision cameras pointing at each other, you can get this glare happening. So it's just something to be aware of. So this is a short and sweet video that covers setting up motion zones on the D-Link Omna 180 HD HomeKit camera. If you guys have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I will get to those as quick as I can. Likes are always appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to learn how to make your house just a little bit smarter using Apple HomeKit, please check out the details below where you'll find a coupon code uh, for a great deal on my Udemy course. Thanks.